The engine is the powerful V8 which you'd expect to find here, since that's the unit in the top of the range sporty Mercedes. But this one is a little different. It had to be to mark it out from the rest of the herd, so off it went to AMG and instead of 370 horsepower, like you get in the AMG version of the CLK for example, it now produces a staggering 600 horsepower. This is a phenomenal amount of power, a good 50% more than you'd get from a Ferrari 360 for example. And that peak figure comes in at 6,500 RPM, which is going a bit for an engine this big. 5.5 litres of V8, remember. Plus there's torque of 700 and something Newton metres, which is enough to pull a bus full of passengers up a steep hill in top gear. Part of the secret is a part-time supercharger between the two banks of the V, which only comes to life when you get serious with the accelerator. And then, of course, you'll have switched the transmission from comfort through sport into its race setting. Formula One technology abounds throughout the engine, gearbox and suspension, as you might expect, but you'll also find a bit of it in here, in the construction of the body and frame. Aside from its carbon monocoque, a technique McLaren pioneered in Grand Prix racing, the frame also features these two carbon cones, not quite two feet long and weighing a bit more than three kilos apiece. It's well known that carbon fibre is around 50% lighter than steel in this sort of application, and it is also some 30%.